Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. Got another video for you today. And uh, this is more of a first impressions overview of another Around Square product. And we're looking at the knuckle bone, as you can see in the title. So, um, what is it? What is the knuckle bone? That's this little item here. Um, I've done a few tutorials on kind of knuckle rollers or, you know, fidget sticks, whatever you want to call it, fiddle sticks. Uh, you know, we have the box knot one here. We did that tutorial. And then, of course, just recently, um, we did the ver second version of the um, paracord knuckle roller, right? So these are all just, you know, little toys or little, you know, hand toys or fidget toys that you kind of um, manipulate with your fingers, right? So let's get those out of the way. Today, we're looking at this. This is a really, really awesome offering from Around Square. And uh, before we get into it, this is the box that came in, has the uh, nice newer logo from Around Square. And inside is just the nice little cutout. So when you get your knuckle bone in the mail, um, it's nice and nestled in there for protection. And it came with a nice little patch and I believe it did come with stickers as usual. But anyways, so, um, of course, like, as I mentioned, this is not a full review because I don't feel like I've had enough time with this product to uh, really describe it well enough or, you know, learn enough about it. But in the short time that I've had it, maybe a couple of weeks, it's been very fun. So, um, as I showed you with the paracord versions, um, this toy is used and manipulated in the same way as you can see here, right? So looking closely at it, it's a solid uh, piece of machine stainless steel, right? This does come in other materials. Um, now this will be available, I know I'm going all over the place, sorry, but uh, this will be available uh, this coming Friday, October 6th at the, at the time of recording this video. And um, I got this through the pre-release. Matt released a few um, on a few different drops and the full release is... Um, yeah, coming soon and this will be available in other materials. So this is stainless steel. You can also get it in brass. You can get it in Delrin, which is a type of kind of like plastic like these um, Everyman's here. It's like a translucent plastic that comes in different colors. And it's also going to be available in titanium, I believe. So definitely sign up um, to Matt's mailing list to get all the details. So as I mentioned, this one's uh, solid stainless steel. It's lighter than the brass, but um, when you really get a hold of this it's really hefty and um, that's something that aids in the play um, it plays differently I would assume than the lighter Delrin ones but as you can see it's just this kind of dumbbell dumbbell shaped um, piece of stainless steel and you use it you know as I've been showing you so far you just roll it in between your fingers and that weight on each end really helps you um, manipulate it in between your fingers doing these sort of motions there's a couple of uh, tutorials out there already on some of the tricks that you can do. I'm still not very good. I'm just focusing on smoothness rather than speed. And I got to say, it's really satisfying. You'd think, you know, why, what's so fun about that? But once you get a hold of it, um, just based on how smooth and rounded everything is and how well um, this little knuckle bone is made, it's just so satisfying to roll it in between your fingers like that. And you get better as you go. So that is a whole lot of fun. Um, oh, and if you look closely here, it is uh, laser etched on the uh, in the middle there. I'm sorry for the reflection of the lighting, but um, it it does say around square etched into the middle of the knuckle bone right there, which is really cool. I love the branding. So yeah, um, what else is there to say? It is heavy, so it is a very discreet toy. Uh, much more discreet than, you know, the, you know, clacking of the Beglary. But um, it's discreet until you drop it because this thing is quite heavy. So if you drop it on any hard surface, um, it's going to be loud. And you got to be careful too because it could potentially damage things like a glass coffee table or maybe even crack a tile if you drop it from far enough. So do be careful um, if you are playing with this. Um, that's why I do want, I'm looking forward to the lighter versions like the Delrin, getting a Delrin one and the possibly the titanium. I'm pretty sure that will be a lot lighter. But um, that the weight of the, the stainless steel is nice because it, you get kind of like a gravity assist when you roll it down and each one of those little weights kind of just tumbles into the next position and so much fun. Hours of fun. It does make your hands a little tired though due to the weight. So that's why, again, I'm really looking forward to the... Um, 
release of the titanium and the delrin and i think i will do a full kind of review of that uh, later on when i get those hopefully hopefully they don't sell out too quick but yeah that's all i wanted to say just to give you guys a little quick preview and look at this around square knuckle bone um you know these pic pictures and videos have been making their way around social media and um, matt does have a couple tutorials already for the um for the knuckle bone so definitely go check those out i will link those down below as well all right so that is it guys hope you oops see there you go you can drop it pretty pretty easily but um yeah that is it hope you guys enjoyed this kind of first impressions overview and we'll definitely have more about this when we uh, the full release comes out okay so thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you on the next video